On October the 20th of 1977, one of the world's biggest bands, Leonard Skinner, suffered a deadly plane crash. It killed three members, including singer Ronnie Van Zandt. Even though he was severely injured, drummer Artemis Pyle pulled the survivors to safety, and then he went for help. He recovered, formed his own band, and in 2006, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Leonard Skinner. On this anniversary, we wanted to honor the greatest Southern rock band of all time, and who better to help us do that? Would you please welcome Artemis Pyle? Glad to have you. You got a lot of fans out here. <laughs> Artemis, I've been doing this show for a little over six years. I've never had a welcome like that, not once. So good for you. I have to hand it, as you all know, to Ronnie Van Zant. Um, he was the visionary. He, it was his dream. Um, and, and he was a taskmaster. He rehearsed the band uh, over and over on the same song. So. I got inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because of Ronnie mm -hmm. and his prolific writing. Um, about a month ago, or about four months ago, we lost Gary Rossington. Yeah. Uh, it makes me the last living member of Leonard Skinner. It's not a good feeling. It's, it's a bad feeling. But uh, my band and I, uh, we've been together for 15 years. Uh, Jerry and Scott and Brad and, and Dave, we've been together for 15 years. And we had an idea about doing a tribute record to Ronnie Van Zant, his music and his band, and put a little polish with some new vocals and some modern technology. And, um, and we, together with Get Joe Records out of Texas, and right here in Nashville, we had uh, spinning plates <clears throat> doing PR work. <clears throat> We're just trying to get the word out. Because did I mention Dolly Parton's on our album? Yeah, Dolly Parton is doing yeah. one of the tracks on the new album. Uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Dolly, Dolly was the first one to sign on with us, and she sang Freebird. And when she played it for me, I, I cried like a baby. I think Lynn and Nicole were in the room. I was boohooing <laughs> uh, because I, it was so emotional, and that's before uh, we lost Gary Rossington. But we were able to get Gary Rossington with his iconic slide solo on our new album called Anthems, and I love the name. Hmm because Ronnie didn't just write hit songs and hit albums. He wrote anthems that are part of the fabric of our lives. And these songs will be around a thousand years from now. And uh, so the new album, Anthems, we have, as I said, Dolly Parton. It, she is the number one humanitarian in the world, though she does so much for children and the whole world. And then uh, we have Billy Ray Cyrus on Call Me the Breeze, Sammy Hagar singing Simple Man that Ronnie wrote about his mother. Yeah. And I knew his mother, I knew his grandmother. He wrote that song for them. And um, so it, what we do, our band, APB, we just continue to carry the legacy on. And I, I might mention that we spent a couple hours with fans, and I'm sure there's a bunch of fans in here and I hear the stories about what the songs mean to everyone. They buried a friend to Freebird. Hmm. Their dad loved uh, Sweet Home Alabama. All the songs have meaning, meaning and they're, they are anthems. So it's rare that I get a chance to thank everybody. So thank you, Governor Huckabee. Well, I, I know you said Artemis, I could call you thank Mike. you. You should. <laughs> you but but I've got to ask you, you <laughs> we're going to run out of time, and I've got to ask you the question, yeah. because one of the songs that the band is gonna to do tonight, is the song, a great Leonard Skinner classic, That Smell. It's not what people think it is. So this, you helped write that with Ronnie. I, I did. Uh, so what is the song about for people who just hear the title and say, that's a weird title? It's, it's a warning. It's, you know, a, a, kind of Ronnie saying, um, drugs, alcohol, not good. Yeah. You know, you're gonna end up wrecking a car possibly, hurting yourself, killing yourself, or someone else. And uh, so, you know, that, that's what the song, it, it's, it's just, it's saying, you know, watch out, look out mm. for that smell, it's all around you. Um, and uh, I told you I lived in Jerusalem, Israel. Yes, for three years. In the castle years. of King David. Right. And uh, all around me, the Antifada, the uprising, yeah. and, and all of the strife that's going on there now, mm. 
I have friends on both sides. I'm worried about them. Uh, but I, I lived there for three years uh, studying Old Testament. And uh, I'm a Gentile. I was raised Methodist. Um, but I felt like I could do something for the Jewish people. So, um, so I did. And uh, I learned a lot. I, I tried to work on my character and become a, a better human being. I think you have succeeded in that, and uh, your music is immortal and timeless. And I want us to uh, let you get ready and join the band for that smell. Let's do it. What do you say? Uh, well, I'm always ready. Okay. <laughs> well, Keith, as the band gets ready to pay tribute to Leonard Skinner, I want you to tell the viewers how they can keep up with Artemis Pyle and get this phenomenal new album. To find his latest album, Anthems, honoring the music of Leonard Skinner, his tour schedule, and more, go to Huckabee.tv. Now, performing the Leonard Skinner classic, That Smell, with Jared Neiman on vocals, here's the Artemis Pyle Band! <laughs>
If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.